Let's talk about dimensions. The first three, length, width, and depth. The fourth is time. To know where you are, you have to know what time it is. And now we know that it's logically possible to time travel. The main requirement is that the past and the future we're traveling to must actually exist. Time is interesting. The flow of time is real and it's the essence of all reality, but it's also a construct of the human mind. Now, some will write it off since it is a construct, but the human mind is natural, it's real, and it's necessary for us to perceive and understand the universe. It's one of the most important things in existence. So that makes time very real, but it's flexible and it's relative. Now, the fifth dimension is the mind, or is it information, or is it both? That's something that we're still sitting with. The contents of the mind is information, and it's information that we've experienced and retained. It's information that we've learned, but there's more. We go to school to get an education, right? The root word for education is educe. Educe is a Latin word that means to bring out what's already within. So an education is really just accessing data. The story of creation is inside of you and me. If you uncoil DNA from one cell in the human body, it stretches six feet. If you uncoil all of the DNA in our bodies, it can wrap around the moon 150,000 times. That's a lot of information. It's genetic instructions for the development and life of the organism that it's in. Your DNA contains information from your parents, grandparents, great-grands, and so on and so forth. Now let me put this in perspective. DNA is storage of digital information. The amount of storage is measured in petabytes. That's right, petabytes. One petabyte is 1,000 terabytes. One petabyte is able to store 500 billion pages of standard printed text. Each human has around 215 petabytes of information. That means each person has the equivalent to 100 seven trillion five hundred billion pages of standard text worth of digital information in our bodies i really want y'all to let that sink in so you can respect yourself and so that you can respect others as time advances we become more conscious we become more aware of our reality we become more aware of god god in its truest form collectively once we are ascended in consciousness we tap into the frequency of the elohim of allah of Yahweh, of Amun-Ra, the list goes on and on. But we first must be ascended masters. How? Meditation, sacred medicine, being intentional about evolving from primitive behavior. You are very important, so act like it. Everyone that you encounter is very important, so treat them as such. You will live every life that there is to live on this planet before you ascend. We all will. That means you will be me and I'll be you. So it's in your best interest to treat everyone that you meet with respect, with kindness, with love, and with patience. Because that's what you will want for yourself.